Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Phantom Doctrine, a basically a Cold War XCOM where stealth is key, spies are everywhere and having your actual identity rumbled is a major problem because then you can't go undercover. But let's go in as one of three factions of course. I don't have access to this one, I haven't locked it, I've only played like 30 minutes to make sure I know how to play the game. I want to be the CIA, codenamed Deadpan. As elite CIA Red Work Commando and Rally Conspiracy set in the middle of war torn Beirut. So my real name is obviously gonna be Fallen Shogun. Even to my friends, my real name is hidden. That's gonna be me. Let's create. Let's make my character. What have we got? Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know. I'm not too big a fan of that one. Maybe that one yeah, I like that one, okay. Let's make me paler. Give me the blue eyes. Okay, I'm going to be athletic. Oh, here we go. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe shaggy. There we go. Full beard, of course. I'm going to give it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it that. Yeah. No, it's way too bright. Anything darker? Really? Instead of dark brown, I mean dark blonde. Sorry, we'll go with black hair. Jean jacket. Of course, not having a jean jacket. So, very important to stylize yourself in the future. G man. Uh, as you see, it's loading in. Obviously, it'll load in faster. You have a better computer. My computer is currently on the edge, so it will get better halfway through because I'm getting a new PC next week. Which is the release week of this. I don't have to wait for my case to arrive. I can put it all in. Okay, let's go for that. Cargo pants, yeah. Fingerless gloves. Hikers, sneakers, Oxfords, derbies. Obviously, gotta go Oxfords before brogues. And headgear, do I want headgear? Eyewear. Ooh. Eye patch, yes. Of course, gotta go for an eye patch attachment. Cigar. Gotta go for pipe. But that removes my hair. I like it. Tiger scratch. Bicycle whips. That's called a whip smack? Huh, okay. I have a tattoo, which is a school dagger? Oh yeah, I do! Okay, I'm prepared. The events you are about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. Yankee Juliet uniform reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Sto? Pokazate rozszyfrowkę. A bystrze. Niemedlenna posłać w Moskwu. Niemedlenna. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart.
And we're in. Beginning our first mission. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. Oh! Oh! So yes, we'll get better looking as time goes by, because like I say, I will be getting a better system. Because my current system is from the 70s, so it fits in perfectly with what we're currently playing. The locator chip indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with it? Who could forget that handsome face? In the infiltration stage, guards may react if you do something suspicious. Move to the indicated position with right mouse. So same as XCOM, you have two areas of movement. You know, you can move to one, you're fine. Move to the second one, you're also fine. Most actions cost action points. Some actions require... Yeah, combat related require fire points. Phantom Dog is a turn based game. So, as you can see, I had two action points to move around and one fire point. Of course, I'm not shooting anyone right now, so I don't need to use a fire point. Fire points are used for any and all actions. So if we go to here, be careful when entry restricts the area, red zone, if a guard sees you, he'll call the alarm. So, wait here, he'll sod off. Skip the rest of the turn. Yeah, of course, I, my action points I will Please use for stuff like shooting. Oh. Your file spoke about. The latest CIA washout could be dangerous. I sincerely doubt that. Let's move to there. So, see there's a red dot thing over here. Camera! Avoid cameras, they will trigger the alarm. So if I left click on this, I will turn off the computer. As you can see, he will avoid the red zone automatically. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can handle this. As you can see, I didn't use my fire point, so I wanted to. I could go Overwatch. Of course, this is teaching me how to play, so there is no Overwatch yet. There's two tutorial missions. I've only played the first two missions. I'm going to be playing them both in this episode. So as you can see, it's very much stealthy, and I like it. So if he spots me, he'll be very upset with me because I'm in a restricted access area. You can tell by the red mark. Found our puppet. Give him the control frame. So you can see in the bottom there are multiple different things you can click. You have different abilities to distract, take down, pick up, stabilize, focus, control phase. You can indoctrinate people. As you can see, it will cross one fire point as a cooldown of three turns. Sleep is safe to go anywhere. Go up the stairs and mouse will change floors. You can see different levels. Looks like three levels. Then select the target tile. Okay, it's just teach me how to do things. So Rook is heavily armed, you can go wherever he likes. Guards can be taken down silent, providing their HP is a lower than that of the attacker. So as long as I have more attack than the enemy, my health rise, I can just knock them unconscious. All characters with a certain level of awareness it is used by select actions that will take down in combat. Awareness allows it to dodge when shot at. Awareness is the bar, so as you can see I have used up a lot of my awareness because it's now gone down, so he's full. So, I need to make sure my awareness is good enough to use combat and stuff like that. So you have to make sure your awareness, I think it regenerates, yeah it slowly regenerates over time, so using too much will of course be a problem. Use a spotter support to lift a fog of water to reveal enemies. And civilians inside their indicated room. No, but the support agent operates from a specific direction and must have line of sight to the target. So as you can see, they have probably line of sight from outside. Let's go and have a look inside the room. They're loaded in. Don't worry, I'll clean the mess after you. PlayStation the door for special. So if you have loads of people at certain doors, you can breach a room and they move in and murder like crazy, which we're about to see. Of course, hopefully I'm cutting out all of the black screen stuff going on. Select the breach ability, Need nearby agents move to designated area and shoot any kind of hostiles, suppress enemy overwatch. Because these two agents will find capacitor, okay? So, right click, so I go to there, they're both going to move in, as you can see, and fire like crazy. 
Okay, the target lock. Let's do it. Watch this. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Bit of lag there. Wasn't uh, playing. Then using non suppressed weapons always triggers alarm and starts coming. Oh, I know why it was. Nvidia's in. It just saved the breach. God damn it. I must have turned that off. Nvidia saved the breach as I did it, so now congratulations, I have a recorded copy of that. I have to turn that off. Insanely. Thank you for ruining my recording. That's why Nvidia wasn't kept in the Cold War. Grab the document, so I'm gonna left click. Go on, you kingfish. Call the evac. Customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. Glasgow. Over and out. So again, with XCOM, you have to evac. Of course, there'll be less VTOL he helicopters in this time. Okay, AK. Overwatch to this area. Move your way to the window. As you can see, I'm now overwatching like XCOM, only you have to choose a direction. You can't just ex um, overwatch everywhere. Okay, end the turn. Please don't try and record it for me, end video. I do not care. This is a tutorial. It saved it again. I don't care, Nvidia. I'm gonna have to do something about like that. Okay, let's move. Just casual window things. Open fire. Full auto. Single first. Reload. So it's gonna cost one action point. Ten ammo. Ten ammo. West German customs. Phantom Doctrine has no random chance to hit, but attacks can deal varying amounts of damage. Best it follows. Maximum damage and minimum damage. See, max min. Targets automatically dodge incoming attacks when they aren't at point blank range. It costs awareness, as we've talked. A dodge attack deals minimum damage, else maximum damage. Damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. Infiltration at the beginning of combat anywhere else is always at zero. That's why you can kill them so easily at the very beginning, because they are at zero awareness. So. You have to make sure that your soldiers can flank and do serious damage because you don't want them to just take minimal damage. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots but cost awareness. It's going to cost 70 awareness to do this. Do it. Ignores cover. Ha! Beautiful looking game. End of turn. So the van should arrive. Oh! Oh, here they come! Move! So there's a bit of popping going on, but I think that's just purely because the system is... Should be okay. I'm running everything on high, so it looks beautiful. But there's going to be a bit of loading during cutscenes. When you either compromise time elapses, you'll incur a penalty. So yeah, you don't want this to be compromised. To go back as fast as possible. Let's do it. Victory! Congratulations, you have reached the end of the tutorial. Thank you. Thank you. Nvidia tried to tell me. Nvidia was trying to tell me. Six weeks earlier. You really think this Pakistani nuclear program is legit? Leslie's usually right about these things. Really? Shit. I bet him ten bucks it wasn't. You're a hopeless dreamer, Bolt. So sound is slightly off sync because of NVIDIA. Although just only the voices are slightly off because that was perfect. Huh. Okay, so this is six Not weeks nice early. Landing spot. I'll wait here until you call for evac. Good. Keep the comms to a minute. Our disguise is pretty thin as it is. What if Leslie calls? I don't think he'll be joining us on this one. He's on the move. Okay, so one thing about this game, I'm going to quickly do. This might be a little bit longer. This is the next mission. This is six weeks early. This is actually me. This is deadpan. Don't even massively disguised. There are things around the map you can grab. 
uh, equipment, resources, stuff like that. So you actually want to grab as many things as possible as you can. Because you can see the glowy things. In this map there's five equipment and four intel. You want to grab it all. So yeah, there is resources. You want to grab them. Because they will help you out. I don't know how they'll help you out. But every intel you have is actually helpful to the main storyline as far as I can tell. So yeah, let's continue. So the objective here is to find a nuclear reactor. Ooh. That's glowing. It's glowing yellow. Okay, that's good. So I'm also going to... So see, go grab that. Go grab that. Go stealth through the window. No one notices. Just casual, normal things. That's me. PMC. Equipment. Go grab as many things as possible. Also, the more people you can stealth out, the better. Because I am going to do something slightly loud later. You can also hide bodies. So hopefully we can stealth these people to death. Take down. So I have a heartbeat sensor. I can blind people with lasers. I can do all sorts of things. So I've got to make sure I'm very stealthy and everything is safe. Okay, model 870BM light armor. So the equipment's obviously going to be used. What was the other thing? There's another glowy thing in here, wasn't there? Damn storm. So your equipment's going to be used, obviously, equip new soldiers, prepare old soldiers, stuff like that. It gives you better tactical tech, obviously. Can you take spot anything? So we're going to be here for a little bit. It might be a longer episode, I think about 20-25 minutes, but of course this is going to take a lot longer because obviously I don't want to split halfway through the tutorial. Yeah, just stealthing through the window guys, no, no pay attention. Can I take the MG? It's glowing yellow. Like I say, there are five... Oh, there's the final intel. I knew where three of them were. Yeah. Okay, I want you to dispose of the body, confirm. So I'm going to grab everything. This is the only mission I know where everything is, because again, this is the one I tested. So, yeah. But getting the intel in front of people actually shows you as an enemy agent, which I found out the deathy way. How many soldiers are in it? It's the one? Good, okay. You're going to advance. Are you already, have you already advanced? Yeah. Okay, you're going to go over here and accidentally hide him. I can speed things up, obviously right now I want to show it all off. There we go. And we're going to make sure that everything is good. So I will be naming people if I can. Again, I don't fully know. Okay, you've been grabbed, you've been grabbed. Let's start the actual mission then. Uh-huh. Good, okay. One soldier... Oh, please don't be two in here. There might be two in here. Yeah. Okay, you guys are going to advance up to here. So you can have them run everywhere. Let's speed things up, obviously. But I want to have it walking just for the very beginning so it looks slightly more realistic. Yeah. You don't stealth over like, Excuse me, sir! I'm going to run for it! It's going to go! Okay, with our disguises, we can enter the uh, secret area. Laser barriers. There's definitely something valuable in here. Get rid of them before you stroll through one. There's intel. There's intel. As you can see, just looking around, you can tell where the intel is, if you can see it. Like, there's a camera and stuff in here. We'll have to figure that out. There's darkness over there. That looks shiny. That's an alarm. Never mind. Okay. See, that's important to turn off something. That's important. Okay, you're going to move there. I want to see there's two guys in here. No. Go to there. I'm going to go knock this guy out. Hello. <sighs> okay, done. So of course with stealth, you can just do whatever you like, but I'm going to take all the soldiers out as well, because, let's face it, I want the XP. So I'm going to have to go grab a drink and a Cuban cigar. 
it's actually been longer than a few seconds, I'll be honest. Okay, so you need to get rid of that corpse. Actually, no one's going to care about that body over there. Ignore it. You're far enough away, I trust you. Okay, so we've grabbed the intel. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. yeah. You're over there. Nothing over here, nothing over there. There's a person, I don't even see you. Okay, in you go. Let's breach the building. I mean, we don't need to breach the building. We're stealthed. Okay, let's move in. Okay, there's people in here. We don't really want the civilians to see what we're doing, so we'll have to get rid of them. We've only found two items so far. Okay, we'll knock these guys unconscious. Disable the barrier. Hello. You don't get any XP for knocking out civilians. No one cares about them, I'm afraid to say. <coughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, I only need to get rid of bodies if I'm expecting the enemy to go into those zones. Obviously I know the enemy isn't going into these zones, because I've played it as a, it's a tutorial. So yeah. We have a garden civilian at the front gate. We have... Two unconscious civilians over there. A dead soldier down below. Apparently civilians get unconscious, soldiers get murdered. So you know, fun stuff. What's cooking? Okay, you go grab that. Go on, you dead pan. Go on, you me. There we go, two or four. Any more things I can steal? It says, at the end, it did say two or five. That'd be dang if I know the last couple are. Let's move. Just gonna stealth out the window. Don't mind me. Maybe it was the machine guns. Maybe I should have done something with that. Oh well. Like I say, you can complete every single game stealthily as hell. I could literally go in, do my job, and leave. However, yeah. there is one thing I want to grab, which requires me to breach and clear a room, which is a little bit loud. So, there's going to be a wee bit of combat going on. Hello. I need to say hello to you. And like I say, we don't care about leaving bodies around. Yep. Let's go stealth through your window, good sir. No one will ever notice. Okay, good. Gonna go grab that. So the fourth item is, like I say, in a breached room. Okay. Again, we could leave it. But, you know, just get out of here stealthily. You don't want to reveal our troops. But obviously I'm going to go grab it. Because I need the info. I need it. I need it so bad. Also, I need to turn off NVIDIA so it doesn't keep trying to save all my stuff I keep doing. I, I know I overwatched. I did it myself. Let's go. Stealth window. So you collect digital intel breaching the bunker. That's this thing over here. Got a lot of background noise. What's up? Nothing. Lost the tail by hopping on a million dollar yacht. No big deal. Well, we're looking for the reactor. No luck. Traces everywhere though. It's there. Guaranteed. Keep looking. So as you can see, this is six weeks before the previous thing. So obviously we're trying to find a nuclear fission reactor. Okay, nothing over there. Nothing over there. There's a door over there. Which is locked. Huh. Okay, you're gonna go over there. Because I know where things are, obviously. You want to go over here and knock him out. Then we go breach this room over here, which will need all three of my men. Which I did okay. on my test anyway, because I was expecting there to be a lot of infantry in there. My skills are at your disposal. 
Okay, there it is. So there's two people in here. We need uh, three people in here. I need to knock unconscious. Dagnab it. Okay. We have to pull across. As you can see, we need to get you over here to. We'll preach in a second, then we'll escape, and then all will be glory to the Hypno Toad. Is there anything I can steal? Here, have you got two items of tech? Any tech? No tech? I was promised tech. Again, I don't need to hide the bodies as I know that there's no one going to come in here unless I say breach the bunker next door. Huh. You shouldn't have done that, Dave. Okay, now I need to knock him unconscious. No, don't want really to dispose of the bonnet. Wait, I can't do it? Why can't I do it? I need to be behind him, okay. Wait, what? There we go. That was weird. Uh -huh. So he breached here, we've knocked everyone unconscious. I keep trying to dispose of people. There we go. So it's a lot more stealthy, obviously, than XCOM. Leslie, Bolt totally owes you ten bucks. We've got a reactor and what looks like a fusion device. Then the test is imminent. Get out of there now. Copy. We'll save some leg work if we jump over the wall from the roof here. Bolt. I heard you. Activate your beacon now. We'll meet you at the LZ. Not going to activate it just yet. We need to breach this bunker. Yeah. Once we've reached the bunker, we can leave. Obviously, I didn't find all of the uh, tech I'd like to have, but you know, we'll take what we can. What the? What the? So, breaching doesn't use any of your movement points. But of course, you have to be in position to breach. Oh! Deadpan, come in! We're alive, Leslie. Oh, good. All I had was static there for a minute. What happened? The test. It didn't blow us to pieces. Cold test, then. No fissile material. But they have the technology. Let's do it. Be careful. I have to do a ton of paperwork if you die. For a second, I almost believed you were worried about us. Cleared. So I don't know. So we cleared that. We need to start escaping. That's good. Let's do it. Evac inbound. So we have at least one soldier left that we know of who's out the front. That's fine. Let's go. Like I say, it's a slow, stealthy game. So you probably get like a couple of missions per time, unless I really cut things out, like me talking or moving. So we need some more suppressed guns, really, so I can breach and move. Okay, deadpan will be out first. We have to have a three-turn cooldown. Can you get up? No. You can stare at it, though. Good on you for staring. Proud of you, the useless people. Are they? His world as well. He could even make it up a ladder. So obviously we have basic armor, basic equipment. We should be fine. I think I incapacitated every soldier except the front gate guard, so it really should be okay. Move. Good. Okay, you're gonna overwatch from there. Why not? Move. So yeah, I'm enjoying this game a lot already. We'll just see how well we do with it and how long the series is. But I promise you, My skills are there will be a lot of dead agents because of incompetence on their behalf. The last three techs has got to be the big machine guns. It really has to be. Move. 
So it's the same thing as XCOM. There's obviously cover, half cover, stuff like that. It was going to be the three machine guns. Oh. Shoot him. 40 minimum. I'll take it. Grazed. I'll take it. Move. Come on, Durand. You're getting a bit of murder going on. Oh, not a faction points. Really? Okay, you're going to move to there so we can finish him off. Come on, deadpan. That's obviously me. Come on, mate. Okay, can I have watch at least? Let's go. He moved backwards. Oh. Oh. He shot Canasta. Looks like he's the only active soldier. Oh. Oh, a helicopter. Okay, we'll finish off the soldier. Take him. Good. Let's cook it. Okay, can't escape this turn. I think we're okay though. You're fine. You're fine. We're gonna evacuate all three at once just in case. And we are done! Reinforcements arriving. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go. And just like XCOM, we are escaping on the ropes. <coughs> Perfect, a mud now. Let's see. Three agents exfiltrated, none left behind, no loss, no civilian casualties. Five of five equipment. Oh, go away, highlights! Yeah, we need to turn that off. I don't care, G4's experience. We're going to have to turn it off with Major Left. Got all the equipment at least. Let's do this. So we've just got all of our stuff. We're back in the base. Obviously, I have some BRMs, some shotguns, some light armor, new secret files, and 12 intel. As you can see, New perks, wounded. Okay. Obviously, that means they're in the infirmary. Fingers on the line. Someone must have told him about our little trip. Put him through. Agent Deadpan, uh, I regret to inform you an, an inspection of your operations is imminent. Why is that? Hard to be sure, but my money is on the allegations of an, an unsanctioned operation in Pakistan. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Leslie isn't your handler anymore. I am. Keep, keep ignoring that, and you'll lose the squad. Fender out. Okay, so before I quickly finish, there's a few things we need to go on about. Each person speaks a different language, which means you're going to infiltrate. You need to be able to speak their language to be really good at it. As you can see, he's Portuguese, English, English and Russian, English, Arabic, English, Arabic, Japanese. So you do want the people to fit the battles, obviously. But either way, I've been the Fallen Show. It's been the first episode of Phantom Doctrine. I am going to turn off NVIDIA. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. For glorious battle awaits. Can I rename him? Blackfin. I cannot rename him. Don't know it. Or can I? No. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye.